really proud of our kids. Um, they they show a resilience that um, makes you pretty proud as a coach. Um, it's been a long year for all of us. Uh, the kids keep plugging away, and uh, I'm just really proud of how how uh, how tough they are and how they're able to adapt to different situations. I don't think we started off the game too well. And I think once we got going, we settled into uh, controlling the game. Uh, I thought our faceoff guys did well. I thought we started getting rhythm a little bit with our shooting and our ball movement. And um, I think we did a decent job at times controlling the tempo. Uh, at times we didn't, but I think uh, we made plays when we needed to. And, and it's, uh, you know, I'm proud of these kids. Now, Coach alluded to faceoffs. Eric, you were six or seven on faceoffs tonight. Um, what was working for you at the X tonight? And you know how you essentially you guys when you were winning the draws at the X, you took them out of their rhythm, out of their offense because they didn't have possession. Um, was that something going into your game plan? Did you change anything up, or what was working for you so well tonight? I mean, just throughout the week, we were just working on what we've been doing all year, and that was just uh, having a little bit of variety with the faceoffs, so we weren't sticking to one move. Um, but it was good to see that we were able to win so many that they were throwing a pull out there on us and just trying to create a 50-50 ground ball. So um, we were just sticking to our guns and kept with what was working. And uh, from there on, it was just rolling. And when they put a pull up on the faceoff, we were able to get our wing play going a little bit. And uh, that's how we were able to manage so many possessions off the faceoff. Mike, obviously a big game for you. Five goals tonight. Uh, what changed from the last time you guys played to tonight? Uh, I think I shot a lot better today. Uh, the offense in general moved the ball way better. And uh, I think uh, I, I got a go goal early and got going. And then uh, I know I shot eight, 0 for 8 last time. And uh, I know I focused a lot on making sure I'd be able to hit my shots today. Uh, but I think the offense in general was moving a lot better today than the last time we played them. Uh, we watched a lot of film about it and uh, made some adjustments there and then uh, got it going. All right, so you guys are one game away from going to the NCAA tournament. Um, in your first ECAC tournament, uh, what's it going to take to get you guys into the tournament? Is that for me? That's for all of you. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to, you know, I think, he, I think we as a group cannot hesitate to get better. Um, I think uh, you know, we've talked about having, you know, trying to feel comfortable within our own skin, especially when we have a little bit of success. Um, I think our poise on Saturday is going to be really important. I think, uh, you know, I think we need to, like I said in the locker room, we need to have poise, but we need to have a lot of energy and a lot of passion. And I think if we can play with a lot of passion, but, but, you know, not make it frantic, I think if, and I think I have a relatively mature group of kids that can handle that. Um, I call them kids, but, you know, I think we have a, a group of young men here that can handle that poise. Um, you know, I, I think if we can control that, on Saturday. I just think uh, we can't really relish on this win too long. You know, we have tonight to have a good time and uh, think about our win. But after that, it's just uh, back to the blue collar mentality that we've had all season. You know, and we're looking towards Saturday. So tomorrow's another work day for us, and uh, just clean up some things that we were a little bit sloppy in tonight, and uh, that'll bring us even further in into Saturday and uh, just tighten up our sticks and our shooting. So. You know, we got, we got some things to work on, and tomorrow will be a good one, a mental refreshment day. So uh, that'll just help keep us rolling into Saturday. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, we didn't come here for just one win. I mean, uh, we came here for two wins, and uh, I think that's what we're focusing on. We got a, it's a big win for us. Uh, the locker room energy is going pretty good, and I think we just got to feed off of that and keep going.